quiet and so will the horses. That line will hold him there and he'll never notice a thing until it's too late. You scared? Jim, do we have to do it? If Shotgun Slate has a bad accident, the rest is gonna be easy. I'll warn you in plenty of time. Looking forward to the job I had. Hadn't seen old man Davis since he struck it rich. And I knew him, he had to scratch for a living. Today, he has a young wife, a gold mine, and a fine ranch. That's the way I like to see things work out. I figured he sent for me to spin a yarn about the good old days. Maybe he can tell me what was so good about them. He never had two dimes to rub together. And fun was mighty scarce. <laughs> Come to think of it, Things haven't changed much for me. Cora! Here he comes! You in trouble, ma'am? You're a lifesaver. I've been waiting here for an hour. Well, don't worry. I'll get you out of here in a few minutes. me out of the way and wants it to look like an accident. I better keep my eyes open and watch my back or next time he or she will shoot me. Jim Palmer. Anything I can do? Mine's Slade, Denver. Just riding through. Thought I'd stop by and say hello. He's uh, over at the bar. Well, thanks. You uh, have an accident, mister? Oh, just took a little spill. Much obliged. into the men, Mr. Davis. Two more old-timers quit today. What's it all about? All I know is you can't mine gold unless you got the men to dig it up. Slade, you old son of a gun. Well, well Davis, come on here, you? let me buy you a drink. Your private stock, Lita. I want you to take care of my friend here. Shotgun, Slade. Lita. Oh, that's been a long time. It sure has, honey. Let's see, last time I think was uh, back in Abilene. You were shaking a leg there. <laughs> I still can if I have to. I'll bet you can. Uh, oh, you and Mr. Davis friends? Oh, nothing better. I couldn't ride through without stopping by and saying hello. Then again, I uh, didn't know you were here. Well, here's looking at you, handsome. Right back at you. Hey, what hit you? Oh, my horse stepped in a hole. Must have been dozing. Landed a smack on my face. One thing I learned a long time ago. Keep my eyes open. Shake hands with Ed Kruger, Slade. He's straw boss at the mine. Howdy. Pleased to meet you. Come on over to the office. We got a lot of years to catch up on. Anything you say, Will. Oh, uh, Lita. See you later. Yeah. 
That's what you said in Abilene five years ago. Not going to disappoint me again, are you? Now, what do you think? Uh, you'll have a lot of time for that later. Come on. Keep that fire burning, beautiful. So, uh, things have been rough, huh, Will? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Production down, men quit. I ain't hardly showing a profit. Somebody's milking the mine. They're playing me for a sucker, and I want you to find out who it is. All right, well, I sure will have a look around. But that's not the main thing. No? A long time back, I was married and had a son. After my wife died, I wasn't able to look after the boy, so her family took him in. They let me think he was dead. Last month, I got word he's alive. A doctor in St. Louis. Swell. Slade, I'm pushing 70. A few years back, I found me a young bride. I didn't tell her about my first marriage or the boy. I didn't see any reason to. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you want to do something for him, huh? Yeah. And I don't want Cora to know about it. Not yet. You probably won't understand this, but things are good between us. I'm that grateful that she ain't making eyes at some young saddle tramp. Well, just what is it you want me to do, Will? I hand wrote me a will. It's 100% legal. I've got an old will here in town, one the lawyer drew up just after Cora and me got hitched and before I knew Brad was alive. I want you to take that new will to Denver and lock it up in the bank vault. It splits the estate right down the middle between the boy and Cora. Well, she might not like that, you know. When she finds out, it's going to be too late. All right, Will. Anything you say. When word comes that I've kicked off, I want you to present the will, and so Brad will think maybe I wasn't as bad as maybe he'd heard all his life. Oh, Will. So tell me, why didn't you mail this thing to me? Because things ain't right around here. My mail's been tampered with. One morning, somebody busted open my file cabinet. A couple of weeks ago, I was shot at. Well, what's your nephew doing about all this? Oh, you met Jim? Uh-huh. Mm. Well, he says I ought to hire myself a bodyguard, but I can't see that. You hire a killer, somebody can hire him right back. Hmm. Well, I wish more people understood that. Jim's a mining engineer. He's doing a crackerjack job for me. He even drives me home nights so Cora won't worry. Come on, I want you to meet him. Good. What happened? The old man, he's hit. Get a doctor, quick. All right, I'll get one. Bad? Bad enough. Shot! It's your uncle. He's hit bad. You see it, Kirk? I was having a drink with Lita. So we better get that doctor quick. Or... Here he comes. Let me through. How about it, Doc? He's gone. It ain't gonna be easy telling the missus. Cora's gonna take it real hard. I heard a... What's the matter? Is he dead? Oh, I'm sorry, Jim. Anybody been on that roof yet? Who are you, stranger? My name's Slade. I'm from Denver. I've heard about you. What do you want here? Are you worrying about me, mister? Uh-uh. Not yet. Well, whoever gunned my uncle's long gone. You, uh, get a look at him, Mr. Slade? In this light? Don't worry, Jim, I'll find him. And I don't need any outside help. Now, wait a minute, mister. The sheriff can handle this, Mr. Slade. Anybody that takes a shot at me, I handle, son. Personally. Will Davis is one of my best friends, Lita. Yeah. I know how you feel, but 
You take my advice. Let well enough alone, you hear? You want a drink? No, thanks. Not till this job is done. Look, why don't you just ride on out? Ride on out? Now, you listen. Someone took a shot at you, and you'll take another. Things are boiling. I've never seen it down this way. That's because I haven't been around here before. This isn't funny. Someone's out to get you, and he won't stop till you eat dirt. You, um, mind if I join you? Not at all. Sit down. Now that my uncle's gone, Mr. Slate, I'm taking over. Any business you had with him is finished. How much do I owe you? Forget it. You didn't hire me. Fine. Now, if it's all right with you, I'll take those papers. What papers? Let's not play games, Slate. Leave him at the office in the morning, and then leave town. And if I decide not to? Oh, you shouldn't have done it. Take it easy, boy. You know what to do. Yeah, just leave it to me. Some water? Yeah, over here. My friend Slade spelled trouble. It was quiet around here till you blew into town. You haven't seen anything yet, Lita. Baby, you keep this up, you're gonna look like mincemeat. Oh, taking sides? Yeah, the old man was my friend, too. What about Jim Palmer outside? I've never seen him like this before. What do you think brought it on? I don't know. Hey, maybe uh, those papers he asked you for? Yeah. This, uh, Mrs. Davis. Uh, Cora, I think they call her? Yeah. What do you know about her? Well, someone like me can't afford to throw stones, but, well, I guess everybody in town knows it, except the old man. Her and his nephew are like that. Oh. And uh, now they're gonna get all his money. You wanna make a little bet on that? What do you mean? Do you got a safe? Yeah, over here. Open it. Lock her up. Now listen, don't give that to anyone unless I say so. If anything should happen to me, don't tell a word about it to anyone. Just go right down to the county seat and file it for probate. Oh, and uh, one other thing, just to remind you. Keep that fire going, honey. Hey, Slade? Whoa, take it easy, friend. What's on your mind? Well, it's about the mine. I know Mr. Davis was worried of being stolen blind. Oh? So? Look, I can't talk about it here. Anyone sees us together. All right. Well? Look, the old man was getting a real dirty deal. I just heard something. Now, maybe it makes sense and maybe it don't. Where are those papers? I saw the old man give them to him. They're not there. He had them. I know he had them. Well, the boss sure ain't gonna like this. <laughs>
Where's Anne? Cora, open up. Well? Uh, look, dear, things didn't go quite the way we planned. Don't tell me you bungled it. We searched him, it just wasn't on him. Are you sure he had it? I told you Kruger saw the old man give it to him. Have you searched his room? No, not yet, man. Look, will you get hold of yourself and listen to me? I lived up to my part of the bargain. If it hadn't been for you, I never would have married the old coot. No, but I... No buts. I'm only interested in results. You get him. Now, don't you worry about a thing. He tells me not to worry. What am I supposed to do, sit around and twiddle my thumbs? There'll be no more mistakes. I'm going to see Slade myself. You stick your neck out, he'll chop it off. That's the way it's going to be. You're soft, Jim Palmer. As soft as the old man. I'm going to see Slade in the morning. And? If he doesn't come across... Well... He may just stay in this town. Permanently. I never felt a thing after the first gun butt cracked my skull. Later, when I came to and realized someone had searched me, I understood why I had been given the treatment. Someone had heard about the new will and wanted it real bad. It can only be a party who would benefit by the old one. Just a moment. You sure you got the right room, lady? Mr. Slade? That's right. What can I do for you? I'm Cora Davis, Will's widow. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Come right in, please. Oh, I'm, I'm real sorry about Will. I just don't make him like him. Yes. Hey, won't you, uh, won't you sit down? Oh, no, no. I, I can't stay but a minute. I, I had to make arrangements for the funeral. Yeah. But Mr. Slade, I want to thank you for coming. Whatever Will needed you for, well, your work is done. I'd like to pay you for your trouble. Oh, no, Mrs. Davis, that won't be necessary. Oh, he would have wanted it. I know how busy you are, and, well, I, you'll be wanting to get back to Denver now. Well, no, not just yet. Uh, I know what happened to you last night. It could happen again. I'd feel responsible if you didn't go. Well, I, I really can't leave just now, you see. I, I have a job to do here yet. Oh. Let's have those papers, Mr. Slade. Well, just uh, what papers are you referring to, Mrs. Davis? The ones he gave you last night. Don't rile me, mister. I know how to use this. Now, let's have them. Mrs. Davis... Stay Dave. where you are. Don't move. Toss them on the bureau. Well, the lady in distress. Yesterday was an accident. What's it going to be today? Curtains. Unless you use your head. I know what's in that will, and I want it. Well, I guess you win, Mr. Davis. I'll take that. Oh. Help! Help! What do you think you're doing? Oh, they'll probably string you up for this. Very clever. Yes, they'll probably tar and feather you before they stretch your neck. You'll have to catch me first, lady. Help! Help! Let's go.
Sam. Sam. You all right? No one ever bothered a woman in this town before. My murdered uncle's widow. Let's string him up. Real. Now you're talking. What about it, Sheriff? Now, now, boys, just simmer down. Since he came to town, Will Davis has been murdered and his widow insulted. Are you going to deputize a posse, Sheriff, or do we make our own law? Does Mrs. Davis want to swear out a complaint? She sure does. All right, boys, you're deputized. Let's split up. You head for Rimrock. We'll go the other way. <laughs> I knew if I went back to town, I'd be sticking my head into a noose. And if I kept going, they'd ride me into the ground and fill me full of lead. My only chance to stand them off was at the mine. You head for the mine. In here, all right. He spooked his horse into the brush. Look, we know you're in there, Slade. Come out with your hands up. All right, Slade, if that's the way you want it. Jake, you go around the back so he doesn't sneak out that way. Now what? A little surprise for our friend. takes care of Mr. Slade. Up with him. Well, you're wrong again, my friend. How can a nice guy like Will Davis have a nephew like you? Get going. You see, Lita, what they were doing was simple. Jim and Kruger would force Will's men to quit. Those men that stayed on were Jim's men. They just looted the mine. What happens to Cora? Well, I don't know. They've never hanged a woman in this territory. Maybe old Will's ghost will scare her to death. I gotta go. Well, well, hey, where are you going? At the father's will for probate. Oh, don't worry. I'll be back later. Five years from now? Let's not start this again. <laughs> 